Here's a test of the new, or at least at the moment, beta infrared rear camera for the VIFO A129 Duo. What I've done here is I've set set it up on a um, a box uh, with both cameras attached. One's pointing at a 24 inch screen, that's the rear camera, um, and it's just filming the um, screen changes. And uh, the front camera is pointing at a meter, as you can see. Um, it's about two inches away from the lens, so I've, I've put in some magnifying lenses so you actually can get some focus. And my goal here was to see what the current would happen, what would happen to the current when the um, uh, when the infrared switch on. At the moment, it's been running just with color. Now the infrared switched on. It went up to 722. It jumps around a bit, 726. But it's hovering around the uh, the 700 mark. The image is static. That may have some impact on the amount of current that the cameras are using. Um, of course, the meter isn't static, but it's not a lot lot of stuff going on, uh, and the uh, the screen is rather static. So, um, um, you know, the camera may not have to do as much work as it normally would. So the infrared light's still on. Now it's switched back off, and we see it drops drops down 614 it hit then I think it even goes under 600 milliamps um, so this basically was a test just have a, a quick look to see how much current does this camera draw um, and what under what conditions so there we go again it changed to another screen it decided that it wasn't colorful enough but it switched on the infrared all by itself and uh, it's pumped up the current usage to you know 700 and plus 720 whatever uh, so there's a demo of the camera and the infrared using uh, how much energy it may use uh, uh, one amp would be sufficient for this unit by the looks of it thanks for watching cheers